Hey guys, so to match the theme from my previous video, we're going to be making some carnival or fair themed food. I tried making them as easy as possible to make, so I really hope you'll enjoy. Also, if you want to see a tutorial showing how to make popcorn, nachos, pretzels and cotton candy, I'm going to link my video for movie themed snacks in the info box. First we're going to be making some churros and for this we're starting out by making an icing tip. Now if you have a small icing tip that you don't want to use for food again, you can use that. But if you don't have one, you can make one like this. Basically you want to take a piece of metal, you can use any type of metal such as the metal from a can of food or something similar. Then use some scissors to cut tiny triangles. Fold it into a cone or funnel shape. And then you just want to push some light dough colored clay through it. Stretch it to get the thickness you want. Then cut it into smaller pieces and bake. After baking, you want to add some shading. I chose to use alcohol ink and acrylic paint. Once you're done, you want to add some glaze and then dip it into some white craft sand. Make a simple cone from some paper and then glue them in place. To make corn dogs, I took the same color of clay and rolled out a thick snake. Then added this to a head pin. Added texture using a toothbrush. You can cut off the tip to make it look like someone had taken a bite. And then you want to add some texture using a needle tool. And then I also used a dotting tool just to make a dent for the sausage or hot dog. Made this using some meat colored clay and then added some texture using a toothbrush. After baking, I added shading to the hot dog using acrylic paint and I added shading to the bread or dough using soft pastel. Seal that with glaze. To make ketchup, you can mix liquid clay or resin with soft pastel or acrylic paint. And then add this on top. To make snow cones, you want to make some paper cones the same way you did for the churros. Then roll out and bake a ball of any light color of clay. Paint it using acrylic paint.
apply a layer of glue, then dip it into white sand and seal it with glaze. And then finally, to make it look nice and icy again, you can add some white acrylic paint to some areas. And if you want, you can also bend some wire to make a quick stand. Next, you can take the same light dough color of clay once again, and then we're going to making a funnel cake. For this, you just want to roll out an uneven thin snake of clay. You then want to bunch it up and then add a tiny bit of texture using a toothbrush. After baking, I added shading using soft pastel, then sealed that with a matte glaze. Dabbed on white pastel on top to look like icing sugar and then sealed it with the matte glaze again. For the caramel apples I used, you guessed it, the same color of dough colored clay. Roll out the basic shape, then use the pointy dotting tool to make the dents on top. Made small popsicle sticks using a toothpick. Stuck these into the apples and baked. After baking, I added shading using soft pastel and sealed that with glaze. And then to make the caramel, I mix resin and acrylic paint, but you can also use liquid clay. Lastly, we're going to be making some corn on the cup. For this, you want to start off with a base similar to when making the corn dog. Use a light yellow color of clay to make the corn itself. And then you just want to add these one by one. After baking, I added some shading using acrylic paint. I just used the same colors from previously. Then seal with glaze. And you're done.